have been using the Speak and Slim Armor CS case for iPhone 14 Pro for over a month now, and I really like it. I like it so much so that I almost replaced my Apple MagSafe case. Almost. Well, there is one, not one, but two big glaring problems with this case, which I'll discuss later in this video. But first, let's talk what's good. So the reason why I wanted to purchase this case is because of this, the built-in wallet. In this case, I can store up to two cards and all my cards have this raised letters on top. Having said that, the best thing about this case is the ease of use. I can simply slide the door open, access my card. It's easy to pick it up from the slot. And after I'm done swiping my card, I can put it back inside and shut the door close. It's super easy. Whereas with my Apple MagSafe wallet, I would have to detach it from the case, slide the card out, swipe my card, put the card back into the wallet and then attach the wallet to the iPhone. There are so many additional steps to follow. Apart from the wallet feature, I really like the overall drop protection this case has to offer. This case has this raised ridge in front. So if my iPhone falls face down, I know my phone won't crack into million little pieces. And speaking of protection, the back of this case is made like a tank. It can withstand a severe beating. Seriously. Since there is a wallet attached to this case, there is this additional layer of extra protection. And this prevents my iPhone from shattering when it falls. Apart from that, the sides of this case has this rubberized grippy texture to it, which is really nice to have. But then the inbuilt wallet just wraps around the sides of the case and it's made out of this plastic, which is slippery as hell. So you have this strange combination of smooth surface as well as this grippy texture along the side. It feels super weird though, and I don't like it. And speaking of things that I don't like about this case, this case doesn't have any wireless charging. Wait a second, it does. It's a bit tricky. So one of the perks that I had to give up with this case is the ability to charge my phone wirelessly. So the workaround is you need to remove the cards from the wallet and then you can charge your phone wirelessly. But then it defeats the purpose, right? If that wasn't a red flag, then this should be. This thing is super bulky. This case is so big. This case is big enough that I can do bicep curls with this. <coughs> Jokes aside, this case does add substantial size and weight to the overall phone. And you're willing to look over the lack of wireless charging and the size of this case, then this is a case for you. But you should definitely check out Apple's MagSafe wallet before you make your purchasing decision. And to know more about the Apple MagSafe wallet, click here and I'll see you there.